XSTAR has introduced their new two-bay lithium-ion based charger and it's capable of charging two cells at 4.1 amps each from USB-C, which is fantastic to see. It features selectable charging rates with these buttons down here. I can easily switch between 1, 2, and 4.1 amps. Thanks to XSTAR for sending me this early unit for a quick look and review. Hey guys, as a quick reminder, I am trying to build my Facebook group and get some more interaction going there. So if you haven't joined, make sure you check the description for a link to join that. So a quick note on packaging here. Um, this is an early production unit and the packaging wasn't actually done yet, so I don't actually have it to review. But from what I've seen online, it's a white box, pretty similar to um, what we saw on the XSTAR VC4S that I just reviewed. Accessories that you get along with this charger are a copy of the manual, which wasn't printed at the time. Um, you get a QC3 USB-A cable here to USB-C, and then you get a USB-C to C cable that I'm using. These are nice cables. They are branded XSTAR, pretty nicely jacketed. Quick comparison on size here. I've got a US dollar bill. The uh, charger is just about equal in length. Um, it is thinner. It's a soft touch plastic here that's matte and finish. You've got this nice blue um, that kind of goes along with XSTAR's uh, look and line. Um, other than that, pretty simple. At the top, you've got some vents. You've got the um, USB-C port that you can see there. On the bottom, you've got some more vents. And this model does stand up a little bit taller than what uh, other XSTAR models that I've recently tested are. And here are those input and output specs for you to quick take a look at. This charger is really designed for larger batteries. Um, you've got your, I've got an 18650 in here just for comparison. 26650s fit great too. And here is a 21700. And that's something that's a little bit different about this charger here. Um, to accomplish this size and just make it a little bit different, the uh, positive end of the charger, of the battery, I guess, faces the screen. Um, and these battery terminals are designed in a way where smaller batteries like double A's, things like 14 to 500, things like that, won't actually fit here. An 18650 is just barely um, short enough to fit in here. You do have temperature sensors that directly make contact with each battery on each bay. Um, these terminals are short throw and they're nice and smooth. Pretty standard from what we've seen from XSTAR before. Nothing there too complicated. So the screen here is a little bit smaller than what we've seen on other XSTAR chargers here recently. Um, fairly small by modern standards, but it's clear and it's easy to read. It is backlit. You can long press on one button here and it will go completely off for nighttime charging. Press again, it comes back and that backlight does time out over time here. And let me just lift it up so you can probably see just a little bit better. Top left hand corner, you get the voltage of the battery. Currently, you get the charge level, you get the charge speed, and the temperature of the cell. As mentioned before, you get two buttons down here at the bottom. You get, uh, these control your charging speed of each slot. You have one amp, two amp, 4.1 amps. And if you hold the button for 1.5 seconds, it shuts off the display. Press again, and it'll turn back on. You do have LED lights here that are probably hard to see in a video. They are red when charging and green when charged. So as I mentioned before, the charger is capable of charging via USB-C quick charge. And that's what I've got it plugged in with right now. There's no indication of that on the screen itself. I'm using my XSTAR EU4 that I reviewed earlier to uh, do this. And you can see here it is charging at one amp. That's because this battery is fairly full. If I swap that out with uh, this battery that's mostly empty, and give it a minute here. It'll do its tests. Uh, it does measure resistance at the beginning there. I'm able to go to two amps, or I'm then able to toggle to 4.1. So the Quick Charge uh, 3 isn't capable of charging both batteries at 4.1 amps. Um, instead, it'll charge two batteries at um, about two amps a piece. And I can swap in another here, and I think this one's discharged. Yep, there we go. And switch to two amps. And this one uh, 
it isn't allowing me to go to two amps yet, but it should allow that. There's no indicator on the screen what your uh, maximum power source is, whether it's QC or QC3, so make sure you know that on your charger. For maximum performance across both bays, the best thing to do is use a power supply capable of at least 40 watts measured at the wall um, using USB-C PD. Um, here's my X, I'm using my XR EU4 right now, and that doesn't put out quite enough power. In my testing with two really de uh, depleted batteries, what happens is the charger itself kind of just powers off. Um, this battery on the right here isn't quite uh, low enough, so it's not going to do that for me. But uh, you can see it's downclocked both these cells to um, one amp apiece. The most reliable way I found to get this charger to charge at maximum speed is with my Energy 60 watt charger. Um, this thing is seriously tiny, great little uh, charger. So let me power that up and uh, then we'll go on. That is one thing to also note about this charger. Um, Using this ideally, the best way to do it is to plug in the charger without any batteries and then insert your batteries one at a time. Um, it'll go through its tests here and then begin charging. And then you plug in the second cell, it does its test and begin charging. So you can see here, these are identical batteries. These are what I was just using with the other charger. And I'm able to charge both at 4.1 amps a piece. When charging these two 21700 batteries at 4.1 amps, um, early at the start, this was drawing 41 watts at the wall at 7.4 amps, um, measured with my kilowatt. And the cells will began charging at 24C temperature wise. At 7%, the charger had uh, heated up to 30C. And uh, at 25%, the cells were at 45C. And this was uh, pretty hot as the charger reported things uh, getting. My infrared thermometer measured similar temperatures, so I believe that the numbers here that it's given are accurate. The total time to charge both 4,000 milliamp hour cells was uh, from 3.5 volts to 4.2 was one hour and 25 minutes. Terminating voltage was 4.188 volts each. When charging the cells at more reasonable speeds here, if I bump it down, um, to one amp, I was seeing um, 12 amps measured at the wall, or when I bumped them both up to two amps a piece, I was measuring 22 watts at the wall. So if you're gonna measure at slower speeds, a more reasonable uh, lower power charger will work just fine. But if you do want to uh, see those maximum performance, you are gonna need a uh, pretty capable, high quality USB-C charger. So for me, the pros are, USB-C PD. Finally, we have a charger utilizing USB-C and PD. It's nice that uh, QC3 is also available and you're able to charge at that maximum of 4.1 amps, but only on one cell. Speed. This is one of the fastest chargers on the market, able to charge at 4.1 amps on each base simultaneously. It's great for those high capacity 21700s and 26650 batteries if you actually need that speed. Um, for best battery health, if you can charge slower and take longer, that's gonna be best long-term for your battery. I really like that this charger has selectable charging rate. That's something that the uh, X-Star X series and VC series that I previously tested doesn't have, and it'd be great if they did have that, and you could just press a button. I like that uh, it shows direct and continuous measurement of the battery. Um, we can see now we've heated up to 26C and 24C. It's just, I like information, that's a nice touch. So the cons from it, me are when you're in USB-C, you have to plug the charger in first and then insert the batteries. If you don't do that, uh, the charger may not power up. It acts just kind of a little goofy. That cell orientation is kind of backwards for most chargers. Remember that positive end goes towards the screen. And the unit shuts off when it's not receiving enough power via USB-C instead of charging slower or giving a warning. Um, honestly, this isn't something that I saw a ton, but when I first got it and kind of was trying to understand it, I did see it and it took a little bit for me to figure out. Larger lithium batteries only. Um, unfortunately, this isn't a one-stop perfect stop charger because it doesn't support nickel metal hydride batteries uh, such as the AA uh, in loops or smaller lithium ions like 18350s or 14500s that are both pretty popular these days. 
So my conclusion is that it's nice to see a charger finally use USB-C PD and have uh, a battery charger from XSTAR that allows you to change the charging speed is great too. The ST2 looks a lot like the older XSTAR Over Slim 4 in design and it has pretty similar specs but uh, the ST2 adds that USB-C input and it has no USB outputs. Uh, to take advantage of that fast charging speed you're really going to need to have a USB-C power supply that is strong. It, uh, my, like I said, my EU4 can output 45 watts on USB-C, um, but that wasn't quite enough. It didn't, didn't work quite well, very well for me um, to charge both of these large cells at 4.1 amps. Um, the charger shut off, so, um, but my 60 watt uh, energy charger that I've got plugged in now uh, was perfect. It would be kind of nice if they included a charger that, uh, or an option for a charger that supported that full speed. That said, in most applications, I don't actually recommend charging your large batteries at 4.1 amps a piece. While it's safe, it does heat up and causes them some unnecessary wear and tear and shortens their life by a small amount. This would be a good way to quick charge and uh, top up cells if speed was necessary. Maybe give them a boost uh, if you're going out for the night or something like that. Um, but if you can afford to wait longer, it'd be best to turn that speed down. And on this charger, that's really easy to do. That said, your fast charging at 4.1 amps should only be done on high drain batteries. So at 2 amps charging, this charger uh, needs much less demanding power supply. And QC3 is more than happy with that. In final conclusion, this is a good charger for those looking for full speed USB-C support and outright charging performance in a pretty small package. As always guys, I'll have links below in the description on where you can pick this charger up. It's pretty new on the market, so your favorite retailers might not have it yet. Um, but I'll try and find a few links to places that do. As always, if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. And as always, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next review.